What's up guys? You on Metri Boy for Life. I just wanted to show you guys just a little little, little tip when you're sharpening the chain. Um I like to to get square with the chain, like pretty much facing the chain. And because each each tooth, whether you sharpen it from the left or from the right, they always gonna have just a little, you can kind of almost see it here. You can just see it's a little, little indention. Um just a slight little smidgen over to the left of the raker or vice versa if it's the right tooth like this one you'll see it see it's just a little right of the raker that's when you know you're pulling wood and also you make sure your raker height is right you know from the raker height to the top of the tooth and i kind of file mine my i do real aggressive and that's why my chains are always grabby i constantly try to you know experiment see if i can get a more aggressive chain out of just this um basic organ um I don't know what kind of chisel it is, but at any rate, this is what I found always helps. If you look down that thing and you look to one side and you see how you can see all that, that, that white metal going clean down that side and vice versa. You can see it over here too on the, on the left hand side. You can see it's clean down there. So basically it's just a little slight raised or, or out, uh, if I can explain it right. Basically that tooth and you got your file here, it's just just a slight 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 let me adjust this camera real quick come on camera stop playing uh, sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't sorry guys there we go come on come on okay well camera's not gonna adjust but at any rate you get that tooth just like, and what happens is sometimes you'll put your angles, you'll be sharpening too far, maybe to the left. And what you'll have to do, you have to kind of go out maybe once or twice and then come at that angle. And now we'll press that angle out a little bit just so it protrudes just far enough on the outside of that raker, either on your left or your right hand side, depending on which side you're sharpening. And normally this is a telltale sign when you go and you take that, of course, wear gloves. So I got mine right here. I meant to put them back on. But it's hard to shoot the camera, but I can them teeth are very, very, very sharp. But you look down the edge of, of um of that chain. And I'm gonna tell you the best way to learn how to sharpen too. Cause again, it takes technique, you know, depending on if you hit a rock or a fence with metal on it or, or concrete, you know, you might mess those teeth all up. But the the best way to, to, to help you to sharpen the chain is to take, put a brand new chain on the chain on the on the bar and do exactly like I'm showing you here. Look down on both the left and right hand side and then see where the angle is with use your hand file and see where that angle is and just try to keep that angle every time you sharpen just maybe one or two one to three times each you know that's what you would want to keep but normally what you normally have to sharpen most people don't realize after you first get a chain is the rakers because they make it like that so you keep buying chains but if you you just knock that raker down a little bit with like a flat file that's normally gonna give you that grind be, be give you the you know the depth as far as cutting and you will be you won't be kicking dust even though your teeth are sharp but you'll be digging and getting chips but i'm going to show you all this cut um and i got some hickory over here so i'm gonna set this camera up and let me start this beast up okay i'm gonna see if i can get it to where you can see me good it's gonna get real loud too okay apologize about that but it's got to happen so we can cut this wood here i love cutting wood
Okay, now you can see, see I'm spitting chips out now. Nothing but fine chips. Look at those chips all over there, no dust hardly. And you can see this is definitely hickory. <laughs> and I went down the noodle cut and it just cut through it like it was butter if you've seen it. So again, you know, just, you gotta play with your angles a little bit. And just always, you know, let me show you another little technique too that I found. Um, works really good and what some guys don't know on the top of normally all these teeth there's always a, um, a little mark so you try to stay with that mark to the best of your ability but at the same time you might have to slightly t instead of going flat with the mark kind of just go out like that to keep it open again to keep that little lip just a little bit outside of that raker there you know that's all you need and um, you'll be good to go and I'm sorry for the camera not adjusting but telephone so you get the idea of that but you can see those chips they came out really good spit them out all and that was hickory wood I mean it just cut it up like it was a knife through warm knife through butter don't play no games you don't want me anyway you but for life hope this helps a little bit just a little tip again you know again get a new chain on a new bar put it on right look at it straight down from that angle on down toward the toward the muffler and notice how the teeth protrude outside the rakers and learn how to adjust your raker depth and then stay with those angles if you have an organ chain just slightly and sometimes you might have to to slightly go out a little bit kind of flat or vice versa you might have to go in you just have to play with it get it to where you like it whether you're cutting hard or soft wood the angles and you should be good normally at 30 to 35 degree angles is about where you should be. I mean, if you don't know what that is, just get you a, um, a chain file guide um, measure or whatever they call that thing. I don't know. I don't use it hardly because I, I just do it by eye now, but that way you'll get it done. But you're on me, tree boy for life. Peace out.